studios of FTL TV in Forest Park. It's the best of the STL. On tonight's show, publisher and founder of Streetscape Magazine, Tom Hannigan. Husband, father, and painter, Kabavi Boyak. Heating things up in the kitchen. Coffee, wine, and dessert bar. And tonight's entertainment on Yay Heart, featuring the Stan Holland Band. Here are your hosts with the most, Cassandra Walker and Ivy Hartman. Well, you know what? That happens when you bring the best talent in St. Louis That's to the true. show. That's true. Yeah, Did we you gotta... hear the pipes on our seats? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we call the show Best of the STL for a reason. Absolutely. It's the best. And we've been around for that long for a reason, right? That's guess. right. That's <laughs> right. You know, speaking of being around, I enjoy spending time with you. But you have big plans because we've got a couple holidays That's coming right. up. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. You know, yeah. I think I'm going to crash at your house. Is that all right? Oh, come on with <laughs> it. We'll send all the boys to your house. We'll have a right, ladies' yeah. weekend, a mom's weekend. That would be there. nice. That would be a lot of a lot of fun. You know, and of course, if you all want to find out what's going on with us, you can always go to Facebook. Yes, that's a great place. You can follow us on Twitter. And you know, our shows are all streaming live on our website, but YouTube's a great place to see Best of the STL. It is. Or all the other programming for STL TV. From St. Louis to Senegal, you can find that's us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Ivy, do you like uh, brownies? I do, do love you? brownies. You Have know, that's a weakness of mine. I do anything chocolate. Have yeah. you ever had blondies? I know, I know somebody who used to be a blondie. <laughs> oh, wait, we're not talking about me. We're no. talking about blondie, yes. blondie brownies. Absolutely, because okay. guess who's here today in the, in the show? Oh, my gosh, we've got a great blondies dessert, wine, and coffee bar. Mm, yes. Yummy. All three of those things rolled into one. I'm anxious. I saved a little spot. Just a, a tiny bit. Woo. Yes. Well, I'm going to be talking, talking to Mike Burke about uh, cystic fibrosis, and he does a cycling event. So so maybe if I write my <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. You, right. you can eat all you want as long as you're moving. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I mean, you know, I'm excited about our guest. 365 days with that. Hold that thought. You'll find out in a minute what that's all about. <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, big show because we're also, you know, we like to bring you things that are happening in the city of St. Louis, mm -hmm. but also around the whole entire region. And so we've got the yes. publisher of Streetscape Magazine here to talk about Tom Hannigan and talk more about that. Yes. And you know what? You're not going to want to miss it. It's a fabulous magazine. Oh, yeah. And our very own Ivy has something to do with that. You're going to find out more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, LJ likes to keep us on our toes. She does. And keep us informed <laughs> of what's going on around St. Louis. Mm -hmm. LJ? Yes. We are sitting here in the beautiful studio in Forest Park, and we appreciate you watching at home. But if you'd like to be part of the prettiest audience in St. Louis, aren't they pretty? Look at these pretty people. Just pretty. Just so pretty, pretty, pretty. 
Almost pretty as me. I'm just kidding. Anyway, if you'd like to be a member of our studio audience, please give us a call at 314-552-2970. So come and be a part of our studio audience and check us out in the studio. Let's see what Ivy's doing over there in that kitchen. Hey, you know what? We tease a little bit about the Blondie Bar, and we brought the executive chef from Blondie's Coffee, Wine, and Dessert Bar. Got it right that yes, time, didn't did. I? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and we've got Nicole Costello, who's the executive chef. And then we've also got Kathleen McGowan, who is the owner and founder of Blondie's, one of the newer places on Washington Avenue. Is that right? Yes. Okay. What are we, are we actually going to make the Blondie? We are going to make brownie. the Blondie. Blondie okay. Brownie, yes. And to, where does the uh, term Blondie come from? Kathleen has a pretty good story. A good story yeah. behind that. You know what? We're going to catch up with Kathleen about the story behind all of that in, a, in our next segment. So we're going to get started making the Blondie Brownie. Okay. Blondie Brownie. And how can I help, Nicole? You can help me crack eggs. I can <laughs> Oh, I'm so good at this. You know what? Especially after Easter. So we're, how big of a batch are we making? It's about a half sheet pan. So it makes about 24 Blondie Brownies. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And the Blondie Brownie is a staple on the menu while I crack yes. eggs. And yes. so what are some of the other things that we'll find on the menu at Blondie's? Well, we have um, an extensive list of desserts. We have small plates. We have entrees. We have a great wine menu. We have lots of different kinds of beers, um, cheese plates, charcuterie plates. Pretty much anything that you could want, you have at Blondie's. And the great thing about Blondie's is you can do, like, it is everything that you say it is because mm -hmm. you can do the breakfast thing, but yes. then you've got a neat lunch thing going on and then this really cool evening ambiance going yes. on. And then you can also come on Saturday and Sundays for our brunch. Oh, silly me, brunch. <laughs> if you're, I, we're always looking for a great place to have a fabulous brunch. I've got the Bloody Mary Bar. I know you want to find out more about how to make the Blondie Brownie, as well as we've got a whole slew of things to tell you about Blondies located on Washington Avenue. Great thing. You can actually go online to find Blondies also. And we're going to give you all the info and a whole lot more coming up a little bit later with Christine and Kathleen McGowan. But keeping, speaking of keeping you in the loop and all the great things going on around St. Louis, let's send over to Cassandra. Ivy, let go of the Brownies, the Blondies. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with Robert Bryke, and Robert, you're with Cash Mob. Yes. And I've heard of Flash Mob, and it, I understand Cash Mob kind of has the same connotation. Tell me what's going on with that. Yeah, it's kind of the same, but, but different. Okay. Um, let's see. So Cash Mob was first popped up as a concept in Cleveland, Ohio, just at the end of last year. And it grew so fast that International Cash Mob Day was just this past March wow. 24th. And there were over 200 cities in the United States, Canada, and Australia that all at the same time participated in Cash Mob. And what did they do? So we were really fortunate because Cash Mob St. Louis was very grassroots. It was one of the residents in Lafayette Square. He approached us uh, for our shop, Fabrication Arts Center, and he said, would you guys like to be the location for Cash Mob St. Louis? And we said, what's that? You know, so <laughs> of course we were intrigued. We wanted to do it. And, um, and so basically what it was was kind of a grassroots group of people that got together, they met, they came together at the same time, came into our shop, it was very exciting, so of course we knew about it, but I didn't have to do a thing, that was the greatest part. <laughs> and they just came in and they spent money, and it's really to support locally owned, independently yes. operated businesses, and bring economic stimulus right to the area, and we love that about people coming to Lafayette Square. Absolutely. Now, so tell me why you think Cash Mob is, is here to stay and why it's so good for St. Louis. Well, I think it's here to stay because we want local business mm -hmm. to prosper in St. Louis. We want the areas of St. Louis to be recognized. We want people to know that there's so many great places like Lafayette Square to visit as a destination for shopping, for restaurants, mm -hmm. for um, arts venues, which is what we are. Absolutely. So you have another cash mob coming up soon, and that'll you'll get us the information maybe on the next time you come. Um, well, the, it's a, it's an annual international cash mob day. So it'll just be one time a year. One time a year. But the, does the date change? Um, I don't know when the, the next year is going to be announced. Okay. So, so. tell me about um, your business and what's going to be coming up with, okay. with the next time. So we're Fabrication Art Center. We do stained glass, metal work. We uh, really feature a lot of Missouri artists mm -hmm. in our shop. So we're excited about that. Um, we also do singing and cabaret events, and uh, we've, we've done a few book signings. And so what's coming up next is on April 28th, on Saturday from 1 to 4, we have Diane Rademacher, and she wrote a book called Still Shining. It's about the 1904 World's Fair. So we have the 108th anniversary of the St. Louis 
1904 World's Fair coming up on April 30th. Awesome, and she's going to be signing the books for that. She's going to be there Wonderful. signing her books. Uh, it's going to be a fun event. Excellent. And I'm looking forward to it, Robert. Great. So if people want to get in touch with you, they can go to Cash Mob St. Louis, and right. they can also go to Facebook and Twitter to find you, correct? Correct, and we're fabartcenter.com to get more information about our shop. Thank you. Next Thank time, you. come on the show beforehand, and we'll all come Cash Mob you. All right, All right, great. sounds good? Thank you. All right, well, now we're going to switch to another subject because I have cyclist Mike Burke here, and maybe he can get me in shape. Because Mike is here with the uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, correct, Mike? Yes, Cassandra. Now, Mike, tell me, what is cystic fibrosis? Because some people still don't quite know what it is. Yeah, uh, cystic fibrosis is a genetic uh, disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, really has the dubious distinction of, have, of being the number one genetic killer of children mm. still to this day. Uh, and it affects the, primarily the lungs, but it also affects the pancreas. Mm -hmm. So uh, we take lots of medicine mm -hmm. all of our life. Because you're a survivor. Because I'm a survivor. I'm actually one of the very first people to get through childhood. Mm -hmm. So my generation is the first generation to survive childhood. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's fabulous. That deserves a round of applause. That's fantastic. Yeah. But you know, Mike, you look so good. Well, thank you. I, I used to think only my mom would say that. <laughs> Thanks, Cassandra. <laughs> So I know the cycling has a lot to do with that. Well, it does. Um, and my appearance is kind of a, a trick because there's a lot of stuff going on with my body that you can't see. Mm -hmm. I take nearly 9,000 pills a year. Wow. Uh, all of the cycling, the running that I do, I've run marathons and I've triathlons. That's all therapy for me. Mm -hmm. So instead of sitting at my home, sitting in a vest that vibrates to loosen up the the junk in my lungs, mm -hmm. I exercise because I'd rather be outside. Yes. So the biking is therapy. So the foundation has turned that therapy mm -hmm. into a lot of fun for us. Yeah, so tell us all about it. Yeah, so it's a, actually a wonderful event. It's a one-day event, and you can ride 20, 35, or 62 miles. Mile, not blocks. No, miles. Oh, <laughs> I, saying, I would be in the block division. Yeah, that's <laughs> and what happens when you do that? Well, it's really nice. It's out in St. Charles County, and the first half of that race is all flat. Oh, good. You know how the, it is out there, <laughs> nice and flat. And then, uh, so it, we welcome all levels. We get the real fast guys, you mm -hmm. know, the real cyclists, and they can blaze a trail. Uh -huh. And the rest of us can kind of take it easy. And every 10 miles, there's Gatorade and food. And, Excellent. And uh, they raise money. Very well supported. And we're raising money, which is the most important thing. It is. Can you give out a website and some information, Mike? Yes, it's www.gateway.org backslash cycle for life backslash cycle for life. I'm so excited about it, Mike. You know what? I'm thankful that you came on the show and you're talking about what's going on because a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. And now they can get involved. It is an orphan disease, meaning a lot of money isn't put into it by pharmaceuticals or the government. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of on our own. So grassroots, we love it. All right. Thank you so much, okay, Mike. Thank Looking you. forward to it. Maybe I'll get on a bike if I could ride with you, Mike. That's right. All right. I'll ride All right, with I'll you. I'll do that. <laughs> well, stay with the show because, you know, we always have great stuff coming up. And pretty soon, if you stick around, you can meet Tom Hannigan. Stay with us. of peace and times of war in times of joy and times of pain we need them they need us and we need you the USO until everyone comes home there's a monster in the kitchen keep innocent things from triggering an asthma attack learn how to stop their asthma attacks at noattacks.org monsters can be Anywhere. 
When life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting BoostUp.org. It really is. Something else, I tell you I'm what. I'm telling you. Yep. Perfect for our next guest. Yeah, it's true. Our next guest is the publisher and founder of St. Louis's very own Streetscape magazine. That's right. He's here to tell us more about his this popular publication, the inspiration behind it, and some exciting things that are coming up. Exactly. Please help us welcome Mr. Tom Hannigan. Show. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. This is great. It, 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 it's so have, much fun. It is. You I have get, a great magazine. Do you do well, live television you. very often? Well, you know, we have the Streetscape show, which is actually part of STL's family. Uh -huh. We actually air our show here. I am behind the scenes, so this is kind of <laughs> different for me, but it's a lot, It's fun to be in the cameras. But you have such a great personality, well, so it works you. well. Sometimes when people are the, the business end of it, they don't come off as well as you do. Well, I appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you for the you're kind welcome. words. You're welcome. Now, we talked a little bit in the tease about the inspiration behind the magazine Streetscape. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Actually, um, Streetscape Magazine, my office is located in Historic Main Street. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in St. Charles. And if you haven't been down to Historic Main Street, you need to go. Um, it is, you know, the old buildings. It's the cobblestone road. And basically, the inspiration for Streetscape came about because I'm so lucky. I love going to work. I'm in the office. I people watch. And I saw <laughs> everything that was going on on the streets, all the festivals, all the concerts, and the people walking and eating at the cafes and restaurants. Streetscape developed uh, from that. It is wonderful. You know, I, I feel like when I had family come in from out of town, the old Main Street, St. Charles, was one of the stops that we would make it's when I came stop. in from it, California. Yeah, to kind of to be, to, it's a tourist stop mm -hmm. here in St. Louis. Absolutely. But you feature a, just a huge array of things in, in the region when it comes to the magazine, but also the television show. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know, basically, there's a lot of publications in the St. Louis market, and I'm a native of St. Charles, and there wasn't a really, you know, a strong magazine out there. Yes. So I decided to showcase basically St. Charles and St. Charles County. So it basically goes St. Charles and out west. And we just like to highlight the cool people, the places, events, restaurants. It's just a fun magazine. And, and you know, it's growing. It, it, it is yes, growing. and it's so well put together. It's Thank beautiful. You, you could have just done a, a newsletter. You know, but no, it's so well put together. It looks awesome. We like it so much. And our very own Ivy works with you on Streetscapes, which is wonderful. Yes. And I know she does a fantastic job. Yes. So Tom, can you tell me what surprised you about Streetscape, whether it's the, the response you've gotten or, or one of the stories you've done? You know what? I had the best compliment ever. And you know you've made it right when you hear this, that people, I had a gentleman come up to me and say, you make me proud to be a citizen of St. Charles. And if you get that kind of kudos, I think yes. you know we're doing something right. Um, you know, I get to do this fun stuff coming on the air and stuff like this, but I have a great staff that makes me look so good. Mm -hmm. My photographers, writers, and graphic yes. design, so yes. kudos to them. Yes, indeed. You should be up for some awards. Thank you. I, I would love awards. Yeah. <laughs> I and mean, your editors know you always talk about, you talk about how you believe print is alive and well. Mm -hmm. yes. And going from print and then the catering to the online family with the street, streetscape television show seems like it's the best of both. Well, worlds. you can't deny that technology is playing a role and everybody likes the flip books and the websites That's and true. things like that. But I'm still old school and I think something in your hand and reading it, <laughs> I think there's, there's still a need for it out there. I mean, even if you look on your computer, you end up usually printing something out anyway. Yes. So you got the paper anyway. And it's hard to read on the computer. Mm -hmm. um, what was really important to me about that was when I wanted to do a magazine, it was crucial that I had 
had editorial content, that there was something to read. Mm -hmm. A lot of magazines that are out there, you know, they're pretty and they're laid out well, mm -hmm. but there's no editorial substance. Mm -hmm. So I really think that my niche, a way to uh, grow my readership was to provide stories that people would enjoy. Yes. And, and that you would read. And so read you just didn't look at it and yes. set it down. And so yes. we try to do a pretty uh, picture, but also have some editorial substance That in makes there. a big difference. It does. And we appreciate that. Speaking of substance, the show is comprised of some pretty regular segments. Yes. Um, it features not only things in the St. Charles, St. Charles County area, but also you've got the Interpreter's Toolbox and as well as a cooking segment. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Interpreter's Toolbox is a kind of a fun concept. Um, there's a gentleman, uh, Mike is his name, and he does sign language. And so we just thought that would be a great component to introduce to the Streetscape show and fans like it. <laughs> you know, I think if you've ever seen somebody doing sign language and moving mm -hmm. their hands, you're just drawn to it yes. and you want to know more about it. So it's fun. He tries to teach you a couple little, you know, catch words mm -hmm. through sign language. I like that. And then we have a great uh, store actually that um, is on South Main Street mm -hmm. and it's called De Oliva's and it's an uh, olive oil place. And so he mm -hmm. actually does a cooking segment with us with olive oils and different types yeah, of oils. Yeah. And he's kind of become a um, a mainstay on the show, I'm and sure. so yeah, yeah. You mix olive Any oil and good cooking. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, yeah. I, I'm from St. Charles as well. I've, we lived there ever since we moved here, and now we live in St. Charles County in Augusta. Mm -hmm. But I find myself always going down to Main Street shopping in St. Charles. It's just such a beautiful place, and you bring it to life. Well, thank you. What is your favorite part of the magazine? Oh boy, I think you know. Um, the creativity, you know, I think everybody wants to be remembered and this is a way that I think I'm going to be remembered and, mm -hmm. you know, keep a legacy kind of going. Mm -hmm. um, I love that I have the freedom that I'm not pigeonholed and I'm not working in a corporate environment where yes. I'm, you know, have to do certain things, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great way for me to kind of showcase St. Charles and St. Charles community and have that creativity. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well said. Now, we teased that you were going to kind of give us a look at what's coming up next. We know that the <laughs> spring 2012 um, is out right now. Yes. And when it comes either to the magazine or the show, can you give us a little taste of what we might see? Well, there's some cool things coming up, um, but one of the things that I want to plug that's not until August, but you're going to be seeing a lot of it is St. Charles Fashion Week. Um, we know that other cities do fashion weeks, but but St. Charles is on the radar. This is going to be our fourth year, and we are bringing some great people in. And one of the things that I'm excited about is Andasio, who is a reality star in New York. He is going to be coming um, for Fashion Week in August with us. Wonderful. So he's been on all these reality shows. He's great. And you're going to be finding out about that and all the other things that go on with Fashion Excellent. Week. Excellent. Well, you'll let I mean, I know we can help in any way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. You guys got to come. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll be there. It's well, Tom, let's give out the information then, Ivy. You know what? It, you can look at for the Streetscape show on Streetscape TV, Streetscape TV, yes. and then you can also see the magazine online, or you can call them as well. Can Absolutely. I give a shout out real quick? Please to do. I have somebody in the audience that actually helps me put the show together. Uh -huh. The producer Gail Gallagher with Prior Pictures, Excellent. and she makes the show look the way it does. And so it actually airs right here on STL TV. Yay. Wonderful! Thank you, Gail. Yay! Yay, Gail! Yeah, I tell you what, she makes my job easy too. I bet. Oh, <laughs> Being thank on you, Gail, for all that you do. Yes. Excellent. Tom, thanks for coming on the thank show. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank Wonderful. You. Go out and get the magazine. It's, his enthusiasm is contagious. It is. <laughs> and it's in the magazine too. Yes, it is. <laughs> it. Speaking of uh, contagious enthusiasm. Uh huh. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> She always makes us laugh, she does. and she always has something cool to talk about, uh -huh. LJ. Yes, and I do have something cool to talk about now. I am sitting here with Carrie Pruno with Muck Ruckus MS. What is Muck Ruckus MS? Well, um, it's just a, it's a dirty obstacle course that... Uh, dirty, you, dirty. It's very dirty. Okay. <laughs> and muddy. Uh, you sign up for it, uh, you go out, and you can run either three mile or five mile um, obstacles, um, lots of mud, lots of fun, uh, raise money for MS awareness okay, and research. So how did you get involved in something like this? What's your passion with this? Well, I do live with MS. Okay. So, um, well, you look good. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, so I, I did hear about it um, through the MS Society um, that they do put this event on, and, and I thought, oh, this would be really a lot of fun. Um, so this is my second year doing it, and um, I thought I'd only do it one year. I almost died last year, but uh, die, I, die. It was. It's hard. It's really, really hard. And <laughs> I heard. I heard it's not for everybody. You have to be like a certain age to participate. You do. You have to be 14 okay. to participate. So you just kill all the kids first. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a. This is an adult event. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, 
you could bring a 14 year old, but um, they definitely have to be big. Big. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference between the competitive and the non-competitive. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, competitive, you actually uh, try to win. Okay. Uh, you know, the, your your teammates all finish together. They all okay. you all have to run it together. Um, you have to do the five mile. You have to wear boots. You have to wear long Whoa. pants. Um, so these are for the serious athletes that really want to really want to compete and maybe win. Um, I participate in the non-competitive, okay. um, which we wear whatever we want. You okay. can wear costumes, you can um, wear whatever. Whatever uh, you want to get dirty in. Yeah, and you know, I have 19 people on my team so far, so wow. I'm getting really excited about uh, getting, getting it done. So it must take a lot to put an event like this together and to put it on. What do you guys need? We do need a lot of volunteers for okay. this event. Um, they have moved locations to uh, Cedar Lake Winery okay. um, and the volunteers have not been coming out like they have been so okay. um, if anyone so come get dirty yeah, you want people come, come get, get dirty, dirty. <laughs> come help us get dirty cheer us on and um, it, it's, it'll be, really be a lot of fun okay so this is going to happen at Cedar Lake Winery on May 19th tell us a little bit about registration how can you participate um, go to muckruckus.com uh, okay. and uh, right now it's $60 registration but there is a code um, muck MS you okay. get $10 off registration but if you wait mm -hmm. to until a few days before the event, it then will you go just up. up. Yeah, <laughs> you just up. You'll pay ten dollars more. Okay. So okay. don't want to do that. Sign up. Sign up. <laughs> sign up. Sign up. And the registration, you can go to your website and do that. This is on May nineteenth. May nineteenth. Mm. May nineteenth. Yes. Go come mud out. flaps. Go mud flaps and come on out and party with us and get dirty with everybody. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having it. Thank having you, you on the show and. <laughs> Check us out on the website and tell us that website one more time. MuckMS.com. MuckMS.com. Mm -hmm. Now we have some trivia. Thank you so much, Carrie, for being here with us. We have a little gift card, just a little bitty one, <laughs> worth $35. And I got a new friend over here, Cindy. Hi, Harry. Hi, Cindy. You look smart. The glasses are giving you away. Thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> but we're going to see if you really are smart. Okay. We're going to see. I have a trivia question for you. If you want right. this $35 Sam's gift card, you want it? Want How it. bad do you want really it? Really bad. How bad do you really need bad. it? Really bad. Oh, <laughs> come on, Cindy. Let's see if you know. Okay, smart Cindy. Here we go. Okay. What is the state bird for? You don't even know the rest of the question. <laughs> Missouri? For Missouri. That okay. would make sense. We're in Missouri. What is the state bird for Missouri? And I will give you this. I have my own little thing music. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I know the answer to that. You do. Uh, I see. You look smart. I What's do. the answer? Uh, well, we have these in our backyard. It's the bluebird. Did you steal them all? No. no. <laughs> that is the <laughs> correct answer. The bluebird. On behalf of our sponsor Sam, you have a thirty-five dollar gift card. Give it up for Karen. Give it up for her. Well, now we're going to see what's going on over there with Ivy in the kitchen. Well, LJ, I'll tell you what's going on. I'm going to be up to my elbows in Blonde Brownie. I'm with Nicole Costello, the executive chef at Blondie's Coffee, Wine, and Dessert Bar downtown on Washington Avenue. We've added all the wet ingredients for our Blondie Brownie. Yes. Now what's next? Now we're going to add the dry ingredients. Okay. That's so, good. That's the secret to baking, really. Is. Start with it the really wet, is. then add the dry. Definitely. Okay. Well, while you're doing that... I had a question earlier. Kathleen McGowan is joining us. She is the founder and owner of Blondie's. Where does the name the Blondie Brownie come from? Well, the name Blondie Brownie, I'm not really sure oh. where it comes from. I think a Blondie is just a brownie that's not made with uh, chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, so Good. it's got a blonde color. That's what I think of it, too. But you named the restaurant Blondie's. Yes, Blondie's. And I get, the, I get asked this question a lot. Uh, I have some silent partners, my brothers, and we went round and round with names, and we couldn't think of anything. And uh, one of them flippantly threw out, why don't we call it Blondie's? Because my dad, I'm one of 10 kids. They all have dark hair. But when I was born, I was a little towhead for some reason. Oh. They always called me his blondies so are there pictures of you up in blondies uh no no oh but that would be so <laughs> cute a little blonde but head I, I, do, I do bring one in every now and then just to say it's real i really was blonde now the <laughs> whole idea behind blondies is really amazing with between the breakfast idea and then the transitioning between lunch then to this very neat evening wine bar thing is this a dream of yours or kind of a vision you've always had? You know, uh, I think secretly I probably did always want to do something on my own. And uh, I recall thinking about having a coffee shop and it just sort of 
progressed into a wine bar. Uh, I've lived downtown in a loft for 13 years and I saw a lot of vacant space and this particular location was on a corner. I wanted to cater to the business people Monday through Friday during the day. So we're a little bit of a cross between a Starbucks and a Breadco. You order at the counter, you get your coffee, you doctor it up, we run your food to you. But then at 4 p.m. we dim the lights, put the candles out, change the music, turn into kind of a swanky wine bar. And you're actually open until wee hours of the morning certain days of the week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday night we're open till 1.30 a.m. and our kitchen is open till midnight so you can get sandwiches, soups, salads, any of our small plates and we've actually added quite a few large plates to the menu because we found that the ladies love us and the men love us but the men like to eat a heartier meal so we, <laughs> so we put some pork chops and uh, filet mignon and we do a market fresh fish special every evening and then we run some additional uh, large plates as well. All right. Nicole, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Being that you're the executive <laughs> chef, we so all want to know. <laughs> well, I would say dessert-wise, I'm definitely going to have to go with the blondie. Yeah. It's excellent. But I would say a night, our beef tenderloin is awesome. But I think my favorite thing about the menu is the market fresh fish. Because you can't beat bringing in fresh fish like every day. And we have different specials and you never know what, what we're going to have. And they're usually pretty good. The cool thing I've noticed about blondies is it seems like no matter what you have, it's all made with love. Yes. <laughs> we make our food with love, for sure. <laughs> we, we have so much fun. We have a great staff, and uh, everybody's really passionate about it. We consider ourselves family, and we always tease that we make our food with love. The cool thing also that you mentioned that I want to highlight one more time is that if you're downtown, and you're working downtown, you swing by to get a cup of coffee or whatever, you can actually then just place your order, and you'll bring it to them? Uh, or you do catering? Monday. Oh, you mean to, we do do catering to all the local businesses downtown. Okay. Is that what you're asking? Some of both. Okay. I, was, I wanted to reiterate that at the beginning you said you place your order and then we bring it to you. Oh, so it's I like mean, that it's at your table. You order at the counter, we'll run your Got food it. to you, but that all changes after 4, 4 p.m. We're just a regular full service restaurant. That is so cool. Yeah. But you do do catering to the businesses downtown. Yes, we do. Okay, though. <laughs> well, if you want more information, it is all on the screen. You can't miss it online. BlondiesSTL.com. You can call them at 241-6100. We're going to continue to mix up these Awesome blondie bars. I tell you what, I cannot wait to try them. <laughs> and you know what goes great in St. Louis with great food is a wonderful night out on the town. And we're going to give you that opportunity because Kathleen was so generous to bring us a $25 gift card to Blondies. And that $25 gift card, are you ready? Are you ready? They're ready. Robert Breig. Breig. Oh, Robert. Congratulations. Cash mob, and now he's going to Blondie's on, on Kathleen, $25. And a great way to experience St. Louis is to get out, have a little bite to eat, but then also catch a show. And you know what summertime means? That's right, St. Louis Shakespeare Festival, right, Cassandra? You're right, Ivy. Oh, you know, Ivy, I was just telling Nancy that my interacting child is trying to come out. I'm here with Nancy Bell. She's going to talk about the Shakespeare Festival. Nancy, tell us, what is it and how did it begin? Well, um, the Shakespeare Festival does Shakespeare in the streets, mm -hmm. in the park, and in the schools. So in the park, we do uh, a Shakespeare play every summer. This year, we're doing Othello. It's a big, oh. beautiful, award-winning production mm -hmm. every year. 65,000 people saw it last year. Wow. It's free. It's outside. Um, you can come and bring a picnic lunch or mm -hmm. buy a picnic lunch and okay. put a blanket down or rent a chair, mm -hmm. and it's truly magical experience very oh. unique to st louis and um really really top quality theater that you can see for free now i understand you're one of the playwrights for shakespeare in the streets yeah so then there's shakespeare in the park and shakespeare in the streets and shakespeare in the schools um shakespeare in the streets is a really exciting new program we have where we've gone into a community mm -hmm. we've been there for six months um interviewing people doing story circles getting to know the community what their particular aspirations and um goals and hopes and dreams what their experiences mm -hmm is like in that small little part of St. Louis. And then we wrote a, or I wrote a um, one hour adaptation of a Shakespeare play that we're doing by, with, and for those people. Really? So Yeah. By, so, with, and for? Yes, we have, um, in our cast, we have six professional actors and 12 people from the community also Excellent. playing lead roles. So Is that difficult to pull off? It's been a really crazy process <laughs> that has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. That's fantastic. So what can people expect to see when they come out to either Shakespeare in the streets or Shakespeare in the park? Well, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's outside. Mm -hmm. um, 
we usually perform unless it's really a tornado. We'll probably <laughs> perform. We might we might pause for a while to let the really bad rain go. Sure. Um, Shakespeare in the Streets is going to be in the middle of the street. It's going to we're going to really? shut down an intersection, the intersection of Cherokee and California. Awesome. And um, it's going to be. Uh, noisy and yes. full of music and fun and uh, laughter and lights in the middle of the street. I love it. Is it, mm -hmm. it going to be more than one time a day? There's two evening performances and then okay. there's one matinee, the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th of April. I think that's right. Excellent. Now, Nancy, <laughs> I want to be able to give out the information. Uh -huh. And what is the website where people can go to? Um, SFSTL.com. Excellent. And April 27th through the 29th on Cherokee Street, as right. you talked about. Now, are you going to perform at all? No, no, not, not this, this time. No, no. <laughs> all right, because uh, really quickly, you're also a, um, you teach theater at St. Louis University as well. Yes. So um, maybe they can sign up for your classes. Oh, please. <laughs> please We're do. We're always looking for good people at St. Louis University. Excellent. <laughs> Shakespeare Festival. Yes. Shakespeare Wonderful Festival. time. Make sure you come out and support Nancy and all of the cast is going to be coming. Now listen, stay with us because I told you we have a great show. We still have more. Can you believe it? Kababi Bayak will be on the show. He is up next. Stay with us. <laughs> What's a special interest? He says they run Washington. He said their groups are special interest in getting bills through Congress or the State House. So I said, I'm a Boy Scout, and our supporters help make a difference by educating elected officials on issues. Does that make me a special interest too? I guess my uncle thinks the Boy Scouts are helping to run Washington. Am I missing something? Learn more about American democracy by logging on to representativedemocracy.org. Packers, Viking, Packers, Viking, Packers, Viking, Red State, Blue State, Vegan, Carnivore. We come from different places. Uptown, Downtown, Optimus, Center. We come to different conclusions. Half empty, half full. But when we live united, we create real, lasting change in the building blocks of life. The education, income, and health of our communities, <laughs> our families, united. even the person next to us. Live united. Real change won't happen without you. <laughs> So give, advocate, volunteer, live united. Sign up at liveunited.org. Foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. This financial advisor is being accused of committing one of the largest investment frauds in the history of the United States. I guess we're not going to Aspen. That's fine. You see, I like tennis balls. He likes insider trading. So he's going to jail and I'm going to a shelter. And no, they're not the same thing. Shelters are for good pets that want to be adopted. Jails are for criminals. I've done nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, I stole a cheeseburger once on my dog. Let's give it up for Anya Hart featuring the Sean Holland Band!
or something. <laughs> oh my God, she, get, you can sing, Thank give you. it up! You. you know, there, there's a difference between people who can sing yeah. and people who can sing. Okay. And you can sing. Thank you. You sang that song. <laughs> I understand that that is your new single. Yes, Tell us about that. Well, that's my new single, Be With You. Um, you can get it on iTunes, um, CD Baby, or Amazon. And it's only 99 cents, so, you know. Oh my God! Yeah, very affordable. Oh, no, 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 all your life. Yes, ma'am. So you are doing your thing. Quit calling me, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> so you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. Yes, yes. So yes, where yes. can we catch you performing? Where are you? Um, you know what? I have a show on Saturday at the Ginger Bistro. Okay. Um, I have the Battle of the Bands coming up at the Casino Queen. All right. Um, but uh, feedback. Wow. Okay, so, but I have a website, Okay. Um, and on my website, www.anyaheart.com, there's a calendar on there. It's a calendar. Yes, so if you don't remember the show dates that I give you today, won't remember, you won't but, remember. But we can check you out. Exactly, you can go on to the, log on to the website and go to the calendar, and it'll give you everything that I'm doing. Oh, my God. So yes. we can follow you on Facebook, Follow Twitter. me on Twitter, at Anye, A-U-N-Y-A-E, okay. on um. Twitter, I'm Anye. On Facebook, I'm Anye Hart. Okay. That's my name, Anye Hart. Anye Hart. Yeah. So Anye Hart. yeah, I have YouTube videos out. Okay. Um, Anye Hart. So yeah, I'm all over the web. All over the web, <laughs> y'all. Check out Anye Hart. The gal can sing. She can sing. So check out Anye Hart. Make sure you get on her website. Follow her on Twitter and Facebook. And girl, keep doing your yes, thing. Keep I doing shall. your thing. Let's check out Ivy and Cassandra right there on that main stage. 
Beautiful job. Oh, I, I'm downloading the song right after the show. I know. <laughs> That's why you have a smartphone. That's right. <laughs> Great job, Anya and the Sean Holland yes. Band. They always deliver. That's mm. for sure. Ivy, our next guest is a husband father and painter mm. who recently had the honor of being mentioned in Essence magazine. Of course we've got him on Best of the STL right. and with fatherhood being a top priority for our guests it's easy to understand the motivation behind his current project called 365 Days with Dad. That is a great title. I can't wait to talk with this inspirational artist. Please help us welcome Kababe Bayak. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. I am, let me just tell you, I went to your website. I was blown away, but we'll get to that in a second. It's just, you're just so talented. Tell us about Essence Magazine, since we teased that a little bit in the open, and why they featured you. Um, I, my project's been getting a lot of buzz in Facebook, so I'm assuming the woman who was over the photo editing section mm -hmm. said we needed to talk to Kababi, so... I don't know how it happened. You said, so. here I am. That's yeah. right. So. <laughs> talk about, just talk about the project itself and mm -hmm. how, where the idea and the inspiration came from. Well, 365 Days with Dad is, a, I'm doing a painting every day um, of black fatherhood. Kind of the 365 examples of black men who are actually in the lives of their children since there's such an issue in the black community. So, you know, I'm using my illustrative skills to show that, you know, we are present. So. And Kababi, you were telling Ivy and I in the pre-interview that people are actually sending you photographs. Yeah, I get photo everybody. All the paintings I've been doing thus far, for the most part, have been, you know, commissioned. That's fantastic. So, yeah. so you have ideas fresh and ready for you. And we're looking at some of the, the photographs, uh, some of the paintings, excuse me, on right now on the monitor, Ivy. Do you have a favorite? Um, I do have a favorite. I think my favorite is the boss. The boss? That, oh, that's yeah. the one with the little boy in the jacket? Yeah, no, that one's, no. It's a caricature of uh, Rick Ross. And he calls himself the boss, ah. so I have this little kid with glasses and this yes. little smirky face. And, oh, that is yeah, so, so cute. Now, are, are any of these photographs you and your family? I, have, I did one of me and my sons. Um, that's the only one I've done so far. That was the one you were speaking of. Um, but I've done one of me and my sons at their school. Mm. Now, the whole project will wrapped up December 30th, you hope. But in addition to being an artist, as we see some of this, you, you do a different kind of artistry in the pastry arts? I do not. You don't? My but wife you, does. Oh, ah. yes. So I, me and my wife opened Sweet Art three and a half, three years ago in the Shaw neighborhood. So do you yeah. have some of your uh, portraits hanging up in the Oh, um, A lot of my artwork's hanging in the shop. Excellent. That's where the art and the Sweet Art, so, you know. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So creative. Now, Kababi, your name is unique. You weren't, that is not your birth name. You changed your name. And can you tell us why and what it means? Um, I was born Clifford Bernard Miskell, Jr. Uh, I used to call myself Sea Baby, Baby when I first started painting. Got to Gremlin, didn't want to be called Sea Baby. <laughs> so changed the Y to an I and came up with Kababi and gave the each letter meaning. So it's creative black artists battling ignorance. Wow. Yeah. And then I waited till I found a woman I was going to marry so we could share our same. And so the last name could be from mom and dad, not just dad. So mm -hmm. we both came up with Bayok, which is Blessed African Youth of Creativity. So. Really? An acronym. I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Talk about your family. You seem you're very proud. I am. I got three kids, uh, one girl and two boys. Been married be 14 years this August. So wonderful. Yeah. And I understand that your two favorite things are African American and family life. When you're when you're painting. It's yes. Like, well, yeah, family, and I like I really love playing music too. So oh. not playing, Shh. painting music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> How do you paint music? I love live music, so I just I, I don't mean it's not abstract, some funky thing. No, right. I like painting people playing instruments. Oh, right. like like Sean Holland in the band over here. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> well, good. Now you grew up in O'Fallon, Illinois area. I did. And you know, you've been in St. Louis not you Since know Since ninety six. A while. Yeah. So yeah. what are some of your favorite things to do and experience in St. Louis with mm. your family or even yourself? Because you've mentioned live music. I love me I love jazz the bistro. Yeah. We live right by Botanical Gardens, so I like going there with my kids. Um, Tower Grove Park where we live next to is awesome. Everything so it happens to be in you know near vicinity of our home, but I really like South City. So. You get a lot of inspiration from those things in those areas. Oh yeah, I mean a real family-oriented neighborhood, so I can just walk out the door and get ideas easily without even trying. So, uh, can you tell us about a painting that you've made for Prince? 
Um, the former, the, for those of you who may not know Prince, the artist formerly known as, now back to Prince. Right. <laughs> I didn't do anything for Prince, thank mm -hmm. goodness, because that would probably goodness. be a nightmare. Really? Why? I painted, I painted my own work. Right. And then he bought some uh -huh. and then used it, which is always the best way, yes. you know, so I don't have any scrutiny going back and forth. So I understand. He purchased work when he came in town years ago uh -huh. and then wanted to use one of them on the album cover. Oh, yeah. that is awesome. That is fabulous. Yeah. Yes. Now, that is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Just, wait, I, and Kabobby's just so cool about it. He you is. Know, just put on his album. I mean, you know. anybody who knows you, that's probably your personality. It's great, but I mean, I'm really, it's, it's real cool to people who, you know, everyday life spend their money on my artwork because yes. artwork's a luxury. You got to pay your bills before Money's you hang something on the wall. So, I mean, I'm, Hey, you know, I got a name. I don't, I tried to never name shop. I mean, name right. shout out because, you know, if that's going to get you like my work, then I don't want it. So. Right. And you mentioned that people from all over the country are sending you photos mm -hmm. so that you can feature them in the 365 yeah. Days with Dad project. It, was that happening before the Essence Magazine feature because of your, and Cassandra mentioned your website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that came in, um, that came, that, that came in February and I started January 1st. Okay. So the word had been getting out and in fact, a guy in France bought a piece who found me from my website address in the Prince album. So Wow. Yeah. So that album's helped me get my name out. World. Even world. though they always only want his cover. They don't buy anything right. else. But yeah. But so how so, 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 so <laughs> I have an understanding. How does someone contact you or how how does that happen where they can send a photo in and you draw a painting? Because obviously you have lots of Everything's by email. No, and I mean, you can do you you guarantee to do everyone's or well, people prepaid for a certain day. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not, no. Gotcha. I've gotten way more than 300 images. So, okay, yeah, I understand. Just, they prepay for a certain day. So people are paying. There's, and, and I wish I had more thought in how I was going to run this project. But now people are like, I, my dad was born January, I mean, December 24th. Can I add that day? And I'm sure. So oh. there's some people who have paid for December, dates in December, and yeah. they're just waiting. And, I like it, yeah. Bobby. So and will all the paintings that are featured where? They're on my Facebook page. Okay. And it's really cool to see them on the website because they're all oh, there. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely, it's mind-boggling. Yeah. I was on there for a long time looking. Now, yeah. you have a unique tattoo. Tell us about I the do. unique tattoo. What does it say? This is my um, Superman shield. It's dad, <laughs> dads don't babysit. Mm -hmm. Dads don't babysit. Dads don't babysit. What, tell us about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, how, how many times do you yeah. want the postman or somebody to come up and say, you know, wife got you babysitting your kids? Uh-huh. So it's like, no, they're mine. I'm here all the time. So mm -hmm. obviously, you know, I'm not babysitting. So... You know, I just decided to get this on my arm, and it always brings up great conversation. I was going to say, I wonder if he's critical about the artistry done on his arm, Ivy, since you're an artist yourself. Oh. No. no. Um, I'm not very critical. You just say, hey, man, you could make that a little well, bit Well, I do, I, do, I do draw them first. So. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. That's why you're not critical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but once they make their own, the guy, the guy decided to do his own splash, and so. Okay, know, all I'm right. not that angry. 365 Days with Dad in 2012. I'm looking forward to what's going on in 2013 I with Kababi. I'm that's trying to petition awesome. for moms. There that's we go. There we go. Not 365. All right, Kababi, yeah. thank you so much. Check him out online. He's at kababibayoff.com. Right. You can give him a call at 771-4278. You can find him on Facebook as well. Oh. Kababi, outstanding. You're going to hear more about him in the future as well. <laughs> yeah. LJ, we know you like to keep us up what's going on actually right now. We don't have to wait for the future. And you're in the loop. LJ? Yes, for all my people in the loop that's out of the loop, I'm about to hook you up. My new favorite place is the 10th Street Gallery, where owners Pat and Solomon Thurman at 419 North 10th Street wonderful cute little beautiful little place they have different gallery talks and lectures different things are on exhibit they're going to be part of the art tour as well as part of the home tour that's going on downtown you really should go by there and check them out you can reach them at 314-436-1806 and also if you have not been to the st louis symphony it is not too late season tickets for the 2012-2013 subscription have just now gone on sale you can check out beethoven's symphony number no. five you can also check out the music of led zeppelin and michael feinstein just check the website out at solo.org and Cardinal Baseball Fever is here. If you are a Cards fan, tickets are available and you can see some of the upcoming games with the Brewers, the Pirates, and the Braves. Just visit the box office or check them out on their website and get in the game. Come be a Cardinal fan with us this season. 
Also, St. Louis Surge, our women's basketball team here, they're doing their season opener on May 5th at UMPSL. That's at 1 University Boulevard. You can get tickets or a season pass. They're really inexpensive, and you ought to go out and see these ladies play. I've seen them. They're very, very tall and look like some of them can dunk. You can check them out at stlsurgebasketball.com. And last but certainly not least, the Royal Comedy Tour. It's coming to the Shapitz Arena. It's featuring Earthquake, Tony Walk, some more, Mark Curry, and Bruce Bruce. Go get your tickets, get your laugh on. Check them out at the Shapitz Arena. And if you were out of the loop, you are officially in the loop. This is your girl, LJ. Let's see what Ivy and Cassandra are doing over there in that kitchen. Hmm. I'm I can tell you, tell yeah. you what I'm doing, I, uh, LJ. You don't even need to tell us. You <laughs> just put it in your mouth yes, and we'll watch yes. you eat that brownie. Go ahead, Ivy. Why don't you conduct the interview? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been, meeting, we've been talking with mm. Nicole Costello, the executive chef at Blondie's mm -hmm. Coffee, D Wine, and Dessert Bar on mm -hmm. Washington Avenue, and Kathleen mm -hmm. McGowan, who's the founder and owner of Blondie's. <laughs> so okay. Good. So you can see we've got Cassandra's got a nice brownie. So good. It's our chocolate. Okay. I'm trying to eat in my area here so I can share with Ivy. We made the blonde blondie brownie here, mm -hmm. and this is you can see the size of the scoops of ice cream too. Yes. So Delicious. what are the now? You know, mm. you added up all up, but what are the chunk, the chocolate chunks, all the different kinds of additives in here? Well, there's butterscotch, yeah. oh coffee, my. chocolate, caramel oh. sauce. <laughs> Tahitian vanilla ice cream. That, so good. Tahitian <laughs> vanilla? Wow. Yeah, mm. yeah Ivy, keep mm. talking. <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually do a fun promotion on Thursday nights. Uh, if you're inclined to come in for dinner and try us out, every Thursday uh, after dinner delight, 10 p.m. to midnight, buy one dessert, get one free. Perfect. Really? And you can yeah. have they have promotions all week long. Wonderful. You want to tell us anymore? Yeah, we do another one. It's our Wine Wednesday, and it is Wednesday today, so you can come <laughs> on in, and uh, we uh, offer a $4 selected red and a $4 selected white wine all day long. Mm. And then, okay, we mentioned it earlier, Cassandra, you know, you can go in on the weekend mm -hmm. and get brunch. Wow. And they have a Bloody Mary bar. Really? Oh, yeah. And so it's a make your own Bloody Mary bar. We infuse uh, our own vodka with bacon. We what? have bacon salt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it wow. Is, it's so, wonderful. Nicole, so what's your favorite thing there at Blondie's? Or, or can you just name mm, one? That's a pop. Go ahead and talk while I eat, Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, like I, said, I would say the. <laughs> Go ahead. The Blondie's definitely. Really? Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Every time the blondie comes out of the oven, I have to like shoo the servers out oh. of the okay. kitchen. So, LJ, you're having the blondie, but then we didn't mm. introduce our other friends over here. <laughs> okay, Nicole, we've got the... The popover ice cream sundae, which mm -hmm. is our um, popovers we make daily, every day. And then we put ice cream, hot fudge, strawberries. You can get bananas. Who wouldn't want that for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, and then, then that's our popover um, bread pudding that okay. we make mm. out of popovers. Yeah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. This is our apple crisp that we made. Oh, wow. Oh, and did you yes. say bread pudding over there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, saying, you got wow. this whole tray right here. You want your own dessert. Mm -hmm. Go visit Blondie's at 1301 Washington Avenue. You can give them a call at 241-6100, blondiesstl.com. And I want to thank our chefs, delicious, yes. absolutely <laughs> scrumptious, and also our guests, Kababi and Tom Hanniger. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thanks for watching this show, and I want to thank our sponsors. And last but certainly not least, let's give it up for our band, Anya Hart, featuring the Sean Hollandy.